you just go to your browser type oracle 11g express edition say we're not downloading the full version uh, download 11g express edition and uh, go to the very first link oracle database express edition so here you will see oracle database 18c express edition for windows 64 so it's, it's accordingly you have to download I'm not using 18C because it is almost 1.9 GB in size. So what I have done is uh, I have uh, used. Uh, what you do is you go to this place prior release archive. You click on that and uh, you go to Oracle database 11G Express Edition for Windows X64. So this one why I'm using this one is uh, this is just 317 MB. So this is the zip file I have uh, shared with you so you can accept the. Thing and you can download the zip file sometime it will also ask you for a sign on uh, you know, information you have to give your Oracle login ID and account which you create on the Oracle website. Just download and extract that zip file. After you download that zip file, you would just uh, click on that extract it. After extracting you go inside that folder you'll be having this uh, setup. Just click on that uh, setup. It will start installing. Click on next, next, and it's just going to install it for you. Very simple installation. Accept the uh, license agreement. OK, leave it to the default folder. And here it will ask you for a password. Please remember this password. Give some simple password. Uh, anyway, it's going to run only on your laptops, right? No problem. And uh, that's it. It will take some two to three minutes to install. Depends on the configuration of your system. And, uh, after that, yeah, installation will be complete. Finish. You have to just click. So this is the installation of the 11G. Very simple. Take some five minutes max. After that installation, you click on Start Menu and click on Start Database. So when you click on Start Database, you will be getting a window like this. Oracle Service XE that is Express Edition service is starting and service was started successfully. So if you're not getting this info, just uh, go and uh, click on stop database again. Start it. Uh, mostly you'll be able to start it. No, there'll be no issues here. After starting the database, you click on start and you click on run SQL command line. So here you have to use the SQL plus utility to connect to a database and execute some SQL queries. So run SQL command line is the uh, next thing. And uh, so you will get the SQL prompt. So when you get the SQL prompt, maybe I'll change the font size along here so that it's uh, more visible. OK. So you have to get the SQL prompt and uh, here say if I just run this, if you type this query select star from V dollar version. So I just want to see the version of uh, the software that's running. Oracle that's running. I give this query and it will say not connected. So if you get this not connected issue, uh, what you have to do is you have to connect as SysDBA. Connect slash as SysDBA system admin and then you press enter. So it will it will say connected now. So you are connected as an administrator. The next thing what you can do is uh, you can. Try and perform the select star from V dollar version. So now it says the version of the database that's running. So you have to connect as this DBA first. And after connecting a system administrator, there's one more thing. The administrator will create accounts for many users, user accounts, right? So you log into lab class. You will have many, you will log into Oracle SQL in your lab. So your account will already be created. So in that case, how to create an account for a an user? For this, we will create, say, user RAM. This is the username identified by password. Identified, no need to give password. Identified by password RAM. So here the username is wrong, password is wrong. So here the administrator, I have logged in as an administrator and I'm creating a username with some password. OK, user is created. After this, you have to grant some privileges to the user. Only then you'll be able to create tables and uh, you'll be able to you know, access the database. So 
for that what we will do is we will say grant create session to user ram that is grant create session to ram you have to perform after that what we have to do is we, we can also grant all privileges here i am granting all privileges to this user because all these uh, this is for only for demonstration i am creating a new user so no problem in giving him all the privileges on the database but for test purposes right so these two things are very important you create a user by username create session you grant and uh, only then you'll be able to create tables or else it will throw some errors for that user you grant all privileges to ram now you can connect as ram so you just to connect ram so it will ask you for the password password is ram here so i am connected so i can now uh, do select start from v dollar version so this is like i am i am the user and whatever tables i create it is within uh, the tables space. like only i can access that another uh, uh, user say this another user called satish she cannot access my tables so this is my own private uh, space right that is uh, the meaning of the user creation but you have to grant uh, create session to the user grant all privileges to the user and from here on you can uh, create anything you have to create table employee you can check uh, uh, we will have uh, id to be of type number and uh, name where care testing okay table is created so we are fine we can start working 